Hi, welcome to Cook That Meal. Um, at the moment we've got a roast in the oven and we've got some jacket potatoes on. We're actually going to make some aioli uh, to go with them, but this is not aioli in front of me. What we're actually going to do first is I'll just show you something very quickly. Um, a lot of people when they do a roast will normally do just normal roast vegetables and it's usually root vegetables. One good thing to roast is actually cauliflower. And even if you don't really like cauliflower, roasted cauliflower is really delicious. So what you do is you slice your cauliflower just into sections. This one sliced around about a centimetre to a centimetre and a half in thickness. Um, then what we do is we just mix up a little bit of olive oil and some butter. And we just basically brush that onto the cauliflower. So we'll do that now. So brush it all over. Now I've got a lined uh, baking dish here. I've just lined it with a little bit of um, baking paper. Uh, so this is about a tablespoon of butter and about a tablespoon of olive oil, just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Uh, the olive oil will stop the butter from burning too much. So once that's on, uh, basically very simple seasoning, just a little bit of salt and pepper. There's some salt going on there. You pop a little bit of pepper on as well. Add to that a little bit of garlic powder, just sparingly with this, just over the top. That'll be enough. And you can use really whatever, whatever you like at the moment. Today we're going to be using some cumin, um, some ground cumin and some, what's this one, smoked paprika. Uh, at the moment there is a, a thing we can't talk about that's going around the world. Um, we can't talk about it because it's not really allowed on YouTube at the moment. Um, and what's happening is the supermarket shelf is running out. So pretty much what we're cooking is what we have on hand. I've got a little bit of cumin left and a little bit of paprika, so we're going to use those two spices. So basically just a very, very, if you come out, just a very, very fine, there you go, a very, very fine dusting of both of these. Only a tiny little bit left in here. So that's our cumin and a little bit of a sprinkle of the paprika. This is a smoky paprika. You can get a sweet paprika and a smoky one. This will just give it a nice flavour. I'll just pop that on. And that is it. So that goes in the oven. Um, it'll cook for about 45 minutes or thereabouts. Um, and it's really tasty when it's finished. So we'll serve this with some of the aioli and we'll come back a little bit later and I'll show you how to do the aioli. While the cauliflower is in the oven baking, uh, we're just going to make some aioli. Now, aioli and mayonnaise are very similar in the way they're made. Um, basically, the ingredients are either a whole egg or two egg yolks. Uh, this is for mayonnaise to start with, so either a whole egg or two egg yolks. Um, usually, what you'd use would be a normal oil that's got a fairly uh, mild flavour. So, you'd usually use either a canola oil or a sunflower oil. Uh, and then you'd use some sort of acid that would normally either be a white wine vinegar or lemon juice and to am amalgamate everything together you normally use a little bit of mustard a little bit of salt and uh, you can put some pepper in for seasoning if you wish we're going to be doing it a little bit differently today uh, we're making an aioli and you can use a fresh garlic for aioli I tend to use garlic powder only because I don't particularly like um, fresh garlic when it's raw it just it, for me, it's a little bit too strong. The garlic powder is a little bit more subtle. Um, and also, I actually really like olive oil. So we're going to be doing it with olive oil. If you don't particularly like the taste of olive oil, because it's a little bit spicy sometimes, you can use just something like sunflower oil or you can use canola oil. So the first thing we do, <clears throat> I actually used to just use whole egg. Uh, I've tried recipes where it's two egg yolks and I haven't had much success with them. I have success with a whole egg mayo so we'll just do that first so we'll just crack an egg in so we'll pop that in there and just get rid of our egg um, now what i'm actually using is a stick blender you can use a whisk it takes a lot longer uh, you can use a food processor if you've got that you can also just use a, a beater um, i'll use the, the handheld blender because that's what i've got so we just blend this up You'll find that it will start to change colour. We'll just blend this up a bit. Once that's well blended, just take that out for a 
for sick. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of mustard in. Now, I don't have much mustard left at the moment, but it should be enough just to get this started. And we don't put the lemon juice in yet. We put the lemon juice in about last, actually. Now, as I said, this just starts to amalgamate. The mustard starts to amalgamate the, um, the egg yolk and the oil in together. So I'll just pop all that in there. garlic powder in, just a tad, and a little bit of salt. I'm not going to put the, the um, lemon in just at the moment, so get our oil ready. Now you'll find it sort of comes together all at once, so we'll start doing that and we'll start to drizzle the oil in. The oil in bit by bit, and you'll find first of all it doesn't do anything, and then all of a sudden it becomes thick. See how thick that is now? It's really starting to thicken up. Now, how much olive oil you put in really is up to you how thick you want this. For me, that's about enough at the moment. So, we're just going to put a little bit of lemon juice in. So, we'll pop the lemon juice in now. So, about Two teaspoons of lemon juice to about one teaspoon of mustard. We'll give this more. Salt. And I'll put a little bit more oil in. And that should do us, I think. We're just going to give this a little bit of a mix by hand, just with a spoon, and you'll actually see how thick that is now. Okay, so that is our aioli made. Okay, so everything's dished up. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the aioli on the side. The aioli goes really nicely with the um, with the beef. This is a slow cooked beef that also goes really nicely with the cauliflower. I'll pop some of that there. Now Matilda, if you want to just pan up a little bit and come over this side, you can have a taste, see what you think. Okay, so try a little bit of cauliflower and some of the aioli. Okay. Have a try. See what you think. Was it? Mmm. Good? Mmm. Yeah? Like, I like the cauliflower with the aioli, and usually I don't like you cauliflower. You don't like cauliflower? Yeah, mm. the cauliflower is really tasty. Mm. Um, the aioli's got a little bit of lemon juice can in there. Can have some too. more of that? You can have some more. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to go and have dinner. So we'll call everyone else in, and we'll say goodbye. Bye. Bye.